So Corey goes off to Peru and starts a relationship with another young lady named Jenny. No, not that Jenny. This Jenny. But then, after a while, Evelyn's damn evil spidey senses got to tingling. And she was like, "Uh uh-uh, I smell some damn happiness and contentment in the air. I can't have this shit. So then Evelyn lures Corey back to Ecuador and traps him in her evil lair, just in time to be stuck with her ass for the whole pandemic. Gotcha, bitch! And since I guess Corey figured his life wasn't quite miserable enough, he decides to confess to Evelyn that he had a brief relationship with Jenny while they were on their break. But he tells Evelyn he only hooked up with Jenny because he was so devastated at losing Evelyn's old Mr. Burns looking ass. And then he lies and downplays it by telling Evelyn that it was just a one-time thing and he was actually so guilty that he couldn't even get his dick to perform in the bedroom with Jenny. And Evelyn was like, motherfucker, I know your dick don't work because I didn't castrate your ass my damn self. That ain't the point. The point is, I don't care if we were on a break or not, I could never do something like that to you. Corey and I went on a little break. I didn't know my ex was going to come to the town. And then I made a mistake with him. And besides, didn't your mama ever teach your dumb ass not to give the devil more ammunition to torture your ass with? So Corey didn't really fucked up now. And Evelyn is giddier than ever, having a renewed sense of purpose to continue her mission to make every waking moment of this motherfucker's life as miserable as humanly possible. Everybody hates Corey. Now, as much as Evelyn hates Corey, if there's anyone on Earth whose hatred of Corey may come in a close second, it's Evelyn's sisters. Aside from the fact that Corey's sorry as Spanish prevents him from being able to really form a meaningful connection with them, they basically just think that Corey is a damn weak-ass, soft-ass gringo and a pitiful excuse for a man that just isn't good enough for their gorgeous sister, Evelyn. And they've tried to bond with his ass and give him chance after chance to prove them wrong, but he never seems to enjoy the fun-packed activities they pick out for him. They didn't try feeding worms to his ass, making him kill live chickens and shit, but shockingly, this leave-it-to-beaver-looking-ass motherfucker just can't seem to get with the program. So even though Evelyn's sisters almost hate Corey's ass already, everybody knows it almost doesn't count. So Evelyn decides she needs to go ahead and bring this shit into the end zone. So she meets up with her sister so she can drop a couple bombshells on the asses to seal the deal so they'll officially join her on the dark side. She tells her sisters that Corey coerced her into secretly getting married last year so that he could stay in the country. And furthermore, he went off to Peru and had a fling with another woman while they were separated but legally married. As expected, Evelyn's sisters are livid that this howdy doody looking ass gringo then talked their sister into a secret wedding that they weren't allowed to participate in. And they're even more livid that he had the audacity to cheat on their sister who's always been nothing but faithful to him. Corey and I went on a little break. I didn't know my ex was gonna come to the town. And then I made a mistake with him. So the gross sisters devise a plan to put Corey's ass in check once and for all. So they invite Corey's unsuspecting ass out to lunch and order a special dish just for his lion cheating ass. You are eating a penis. Yes, that's right. These three hocus pocus looking ass bitches then fed Corey some bull penis stew and they're like, surprise bitch, eat a dick, we hate you. And Corey was like, I don't understand why you would feed me some damn bull dick. And they were like, well, we heard your dick don't work, so we decided to go ahead and get you an all new dick. To eat, bitch. Bon appetit. So Corey tries to explain himself and ask them what he can do to repair his relationship with them, but the sister straight up let him know that they hate his ass and they'll never support his relationship with their sister. And Evelyn, oh, I mean Evelyn, just sits back admiring her handiwork and enjoying the shit show she just orchestrated. But you are trying to stick your d- in some Peruvian, so now you eat that d- all the way till the end of the freaking plate. Everybody hates Corey. 